Hello, it's your boy David. There's a new trailer out for Bumblebee. Official trailer now. Uh, the second trailer, the first was a teaser. This was the this is the official new trailer. I'm looking looking forward to this movie. Transformers movies I felt uh, the first one was good, and the sequels were very terrible. This one I don't think is connected. Even, even though they said it was a prequel to everything, I, I don't think it should be connected because you could use this to reboot, use it to restart things the way people want it to be wanted to go. Because Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon, Age of Extinction, and uh, the other one, which was the worst one ever, but they, they were all like they just generally got worse. Even though I quite I kind of liked uh, Extinction in a way because. Lockdown as a villain was pretty cool um, in uh, Transformers 4, but it was still a bad movie. And only the first one was actually good, so I think that they should just forget it. Even though, like, I wanted to see Unicron. I wanted to see Unicron in a Transformers movie. Like, he is the big guy. Like, if you don't know who he is, he is, he is the big... He's like... He's the size of a planet, first of all. Like, he's that big. And he's the most powerful one, like the most powerful villain, I mean, in, I'm pretty sure he is anyway. He's like Darkseid or Thanos in a way, you know, he's like, he's like the powerful guy. I don't know much about Transformers, but I'm pretty sure like that's how strong Unicron is. He, even bigger actually, he's much bigger than Thanos, like Thanos is like small compared to him. But uh, yeah, Unicron, I would have loved to see him. It would take a lot of CGI to be fair, but I would have loved to see him in a Transformers movie. If, like if they made one more... Uh, from the from the from the series they already do. If they made one more Transformers Seven with Unicron, I would watch it. I'd be excited for it. But um, yeah, I hope they use this though to reboot it and eventually build up to Unicron again because I want to see Unicron in a movie. But um, yeah, but FYI, this won't be a reaction because I've already seen it. I've seen some parts of it. I just want to look at some parts and tell you my thoughts on things because. Uh, I'm looking forward to this movie and uh, I want to make more movie related content and this is one thing I want to make, make videos about. So uh, yeah, let's do this. So here we have floating uniform. All I see is uniform here. Yeah, I see soldiers here, soldiers here, but what's this? There's no person here. I can't see anything. I'm kidding by the way, but John Cena is playing, um, he's playing the army guy who wants to hunt down Transformers basically. like. The same sort of character you see in Transformers 4 and 5 and every single one where there's always an army guy, a military guy or from an organization who wants to take down Transformers who has an issue with them, ETC, and he's, he's this time it's John Cena playing it. So uh, yeah, um, it's going to be tough for the Transformers to uh, avoid him because they can't see him. So uh, I should stop. Oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. I gotta say, <laughs> that, that's pretty funny. But this, 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 mate. I know that's Starscream on the left, okay? I did not watch uh, much of the original original animated, animated show. Um, I'm not a big Transformers fan from the animated shows, but I watched some of them and I recognize certain characters and these two are apparently more accurate to what they were in the animations and that's a good thing like um, accuracy is not always needed but i think it can be a good good thing for, for nostalgia and other things like that and i think more people would be like okay okay you're giving us five bad movies four bad movies maybe at least but you're giving th these designs these iconic designs these designs from my childhood Okay, okay Paramount, I'm interested. I think a lot of fans will be like that because this is, it's pretty cool. It, it's pretty cool how they introduce stuff like this, how they like, I, I, I hope it's a reboot. I just, I, I'm, I don't know, I need to check up on it, but it's surely a reboot. Like they're changing everything. Like the look, you see Optimus Prime soon as well. You see a G1 Optimus Prime, which is amazing. There's a war raging on our planet. If this criminal isn't found, that war may find its way. One thing though about that voice, that voice might be more accurate. To be fair, I, I don't remember voices from the G1 animations. I watched a few episodes, as I, as I mentioned. But, um... For Decepticon, that's, uh... Is that Decepticon, right? For Decepticon, that sounds... Usually they sound so menacing. I'm so used to sounding them sounding so menacing from the movies. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. For a villain, it sounds like 
a, a funny a funny voice for a villain i'm just saying nothing that important here but that is a good shot that is a lot of transformers a lot of transformers from the teaser i was thinking like it's gonna be bumblebee and starscream maybe maybe like one or two other people and a cameo from optimus but it seems like there's gonna be, there's gonna be quite a few transformers in this movie which, which is good looking i'm looking forward to it the more more of them the better because i think like one of the issues with the Transformers movies so far is that they concentrate too much on the humans. I get why you want to put them in, but a Transformers movie, I'm here mainly for the Transformers. And you put too much on the humans in a way, I think, in the movies they did that. So, the more Transformers action, the better. I've seen first hand. These things really are. Love it. From the teaser. Yes, here we go. G1 Optimus Prime. There is only... That is amazing. That is amazing. That is damn amazing. All right. Just for that look, just for that look, I'm buying a ticket. To be fair, I would have gone anyway because I'm interested anyway in, in this movie. But still, but still, it's, it's damn cool. Take it down. Let me just go back for a second to here. Take it down. That scene. Wait, let me, let me just go on for one more second. That scene reminds me of Transformers, the first Transformers movie in 07. When Sector 13, I think, when they catch Bumblebee and they get some strings around him and he puts his battle mask on, tries to fight out of it. It's very reminiscent of that one, of that scene. I think that's pretty cool. Like, I think they might have used that as, as, as inspiration because it's, it's very like deja vu in a way. But hopefully he doesn't get caught this time. Hey. I can't wait. Where's his backup? The question is, is, is does he get any backup from any Autobots? Is uh, anyone going to turn up? Ironhide, can you come back please? I mean, I miss you since you're deaf. Can you like come and help him? I, I, I don't know. So maybe someone turns up. But um, yeah, it's obviously many a problem we saw that movie, but I'm interested and I'm looking forward to this movie. And uh, yeah, it comes out on Christmas okay, as well. So yeah, December, you got Aquaman, you got this got spider-verse from sony as well so gonna be a good month gonna be a good month of movies and i cannot wait to see this one i, ca I cannot wait it's gonna be uh an interesting one it's, it's, it's gonna be an interesting one and uh yeah i think certainly oh oh this bit as well hold on a sec this bit is quite funny God, But yeah, as I was saying, looking forward to it, and uh, this is obviously more accurate to the uh, animated series ones, and uh, which is good, because it seems to be, according to the comments section, it seems to be pleasing a lot of fans as well, so uh, that's great. It's good to know that people are excited about Transformers movie, especially after what we've had so far. But yeah, um, as I said earlier though, I want to see Unicorn, at one, I want to see Unicorn one day, so uh, I know that Transformers 6 was cancelled, so, um, and that's fair enough. But, in my opinion, use this movie as a reboot, reboot everything, don't do too much, like, you've done a lot already, but, you know, maybe make another movie, um, and have Unicorn in there, I think, that'd be nice to see, because, uh, I think we've waited long enough, okay, give us Unicorn at some point, please, please, just, just give him to us, I, I want to see a bunch of Autobots trying to take down Unicron, I want to see Megatron, meet Unicron, a good Mega Megatron, not the one we see in the movies, who keeps coming back somehow, but never mind. Um, yeah, this is your boy Davidoff, please like, share, subscribe. Good trailer, by the way. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and see ya.